Number five, downtown Abacoa. If you're looking for a place with cute boutiques and a variety of dining options, downtown Abacoa may be your perfect getaway. There are always plenty of community events like food truck invasions and block parties, which makes this stop a family favorite. Don't forget to make a trip out to the Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium. As the host to four minor league teams and the host to two major league teams during spring training, there is always a team to cheer on in downtown Abacoa. Number four, the beach. Our favorite beach is located at Carlin Park in Jupiter. Free parking and dog friendly. We're headed to the beach right now. This is Juan Contreras. Contreras. I'm the <laughs> expert Mexican in this trip. We normally pack a cooler with plenty of water and subs before heading there. If you're feeling anxious about what can be pretty big Atlantic Ocean waves, make sure to talk to the lifeguards to know what to expect. Grab your beach chair and hat and enjoy. Number three, Harborside Place. With a tagline like, one place, so many reasons, you won't be surprised to see that Harborside Place is a must stop for some shopping and dining, and even staying in the Wyndham Grand Jupiter, only a few feet away from the outdoor amphitheater where live music happens three nights out of the week. Whether you're staying at Harborside Place or just passing through by boat or by car, make sure to walk the elegant path showcasing over a dozen shops and dining at one of their luxurious restaurants. We chose Calavera Cantina, a Mexican-inspired sit-down restaurant. From tacos to enchiladas, this place has got it all. Calaveras in Spanish means like the small. Because we were just passing through, we decided to order something for the table. We highly suggest their guacamole and chips, made to your liking and right before your eyes. We asked for medium, but you can order your guacamole hot or mild. Number two, Square Grouper Tiki Bar. Upon entering our next must-see spot, you'll be asked for ID as this tiki bar is unlike others on the same block. At the Square Grouper Tiki Bar, only 21 years and older, guests are permitted. No kids, no pets. We met with manager Danielle who told us all about this major must-see's humble beginnings. This community favorite started as a small bait shop where fishermen would just come for a hot dog and a drink out of a cooler. It eventually turned into what it is today, a relaxed, laid-back tiki bar for 21 and older. Everybody loves coming down to the dock. We have a location in Port Pierce as well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the marina and dock. We don't really have any wait staff or anything. Choose wherever you'd like to sit. You're not going to have anybody bother you at your tables. You really just like to create that relaxing feel. You pick up your food over there. There's a little food pickup area. They'll give you a pager. So it's really, you know, you guys get to just enjoy the atmosphere. We have live music every single day. Um, just depending on the day, we'll have two bands, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we start at like 3 o'clock. So we can get everybody in that happy hour mood. From sandwiches and burgers to daily specials, the menu is full of delicious options. We asked restaurant manager Danielle which menu items we had to try. She recommended the shrimp tacos, the overloaded nachos, the chubby Cuban, and the mahi-mahi sandwich. In addition to the food and music, the Square Grouper encourages their guests to walk away with something to remember them by. There are many shops full of t-shirts, hats, bottle openers, and other great souvenirs to bring home. Between the delicious food items and the sand floor, it's no surprise we spent hours at this spot. We'd like to thank Danielle and her team for showing us around and treating us like family. We know if you make a trip by, they'll definitely do the same for you. Number one, the Loggerhead Marine Life Center. Our number one must-see spot in Jupiter and Juneau Beach, Florida is the Loggerhead Marine Life Center, a sea turtle hospital located in Juneau Beach, Florida. In addition to being a hospital, they're also an ocean conservation hub, educational facility, and a research lab. And the best part, you and your family can visit Loggerhead for no cost at all. Although, with all the great work they're doing, a donation doesn't hurt. We met with Public Relations and Communications Coordinator Hannah, and she gave us a free tour of the facilities. We have a saying at Loggerhead that we use quite frequently, and that's that the sea turtle tells us the health of the ocean, and the ocean tells us the health of the 
planet. So we do focus on sea turtles here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center, but we also look at that as a great opportunity to see what's really going on in our oceans as a whole. We also rehabilitate about, on average, 100 sea turtle patients, so they're sick or injured. They come to us with different injuries. Maybe they have uh, marine debris impact, or maybe they had a boat strike injury. So there are a variety of reasons that they're here, but um, we're not a zoo. So what, what happens is we rehabilitate the animals, and once they're medically cleared, we release them into the ocean. So we're putting them back into their home. We don't keep any sea turtles here longer than they need to be. The Loggerhead Marine Life Center is the only advanced hospital between Orlando, Florida and the Florida Keys. Outside, you'll find these giant tanks with a turtle in each. Hannah told us about how these are their hospital beds where they receive treatment, along with inside the hospital itself. Usually the average time a patient is with us is six to eight months, and then we release them. But just like people, every patient is different. This is a jar full of different tiny microplastic pieces of marine debris that was found inside our 2017 post hatchlings that we need proxies. And we looked inside their gut to see what we could see and we found many, many pieces of marine debris. So each little vial came from a specific patient. Loggerhead relies on donations and purchases made in their cafe and gift shop. We have spring training here because we partner with Roger Dean Stadium, so we've got some really fun t-shirts right now. Gotcha. We would like to thank Hannah and her team for showing us around and introducing us to some of the kindest turtles around.